The richest pacing female of the season was Naughty But Nice, a three-year-old who became the first pacing disc staffer to earn $1 million in her racing career. Naughty But Nice was just another filly early in the season until the Houghton Stable found the key to success. Starting out, she was training real well, but uh, we couldn't keep the weight on her good at all, and she was kind of weak in her first few races. And the thing that made her so well, my father bought her a goat up in Vernon, and uh, ever since she's got that goat, she's picked up weight, and she's real good. United with her new companion, Naughty But Nice consistently got the goat of her rivals throughout the latter half of the year, setting world records at the Meadows and at Delaware. Naughty But Nice at the rear, my Melissa and Joe Daly. Hit parade and Naughty But Nice, hit parade, Naughty But Nice! One, 55 and two. When challenged by her most persistent foe, Hit Parade, in the Breeders' Crown at Liberty Bell, Naughty But Nice responded with a million-dollar effort to clinch her title. Naughty But Nice has the lead. Hit Parade, the only challenger, through the stretch. Naughty But Nice on the inside. Hit Parade closing the center. But down along the inside, it's Naughty But Nice in front. 